Serpentashira Obanai. Profile pick, looking cool and intimidating. So let's do this. I'm on the landscape page. Pencil eraser, hit pause. We go too fast. We're looking at his green eye from the side. So, oh, he put here. So we'll go, we'll start his nose and then we'll do the eye. So just get everything in the right place. Center point of my page here. We're over to the left a little bit. We're not like bang in the middle with the nose. Curves out. And then we go down like a little L shape. And then this changes direction again. Goes in and down like that. Demon Slayer tend to add little sort of shadows on the nose. Like they thicken it up in there. And then we go nostril. And then just across from this, like diagonally up, it's where we start his eye. So you can go with his top eyelid line first. Kind of curves across here. Right. And then the bottom eyelid line. Very slender eyes. And then we're going to thicken up the top one, especially the bottom one can be thinner usually. So we'll bring this up to there and then we'll thicken up. Make this quite heavy and dark. And then there's a little spike coming down here. So it's all dark here in the corner and on top. So heavier eye line in anime usually and what they do in this image as well is they have a little sort of line going down there towards his tear duct and then a little sort of spike coming off the front there usually that's the way demon slayer do their eyes he has a little sort of line around the bottom of the eye there it goes under hair but We'll draw it in anyway and we can erase it later if needed so then he's looking to the right so and a big green disc of an eye like so and it's just like shaded green in there sometimes they'll do not all the time they'll do like a little sort of hatching just on top here which can be kind of cool, so I think I'll do it. Looks good. And then top eyelid there. And then his eyebrow. Going that way. And it's kind of thicker at the front, skinnier at the back. Goes underneath his hair as well. And we'll just colour that black too. Because he's a dark sort of character. Definitely could be a bad guy <laughs> if he wasn't a Hashira. He'd make a cool demon, I'd say. His face, right? So he's got that white sort of mask, right? Just coming down from the nose. So we can't see any mouth or anything. So we just see like the side of his face here. And then his jaw goes up that way. Disappears under hair, right? So. He's got like these black square hairlines, one just there under his nose. And then here as well. And they'll all start to hang down onto his face, right? See that mask just underneath his nose here. So all these texture lines on us. 
right, all these sort of bandages wrapped up. Like so. And then his fringe just goes down across his face here. Okay. So then just lots of that long hair now. So coming up this way. Little texture lines on it. And like his fringe seems to stick out the front here. There's lots of these sort of boxes and rectangle type shapes hanging down that way. There's like a bit of a bump here, and then one bump, and then it bumps up again, back around the back of his head a couple of times. Maybe it should be higher up actually. So we go. Here, yeah, this should be a bit higher up on this side. Do this three hairlines anyway. Down that way. Okay, keep going. Add in hair to the anime characters. Hair is like a big thing. Switch different sort of hairstyles and stuff. And then this one's kind of higher up here. Then there is a longer one. There's some that goes behind the snake's body, so we'll just we'll add some of the ones that are sticking out here. I think this one, well, no, actually. Okay. Like that. So his snake is coiled around his chest, right? So it's kind of like, just like coming around this way. It's kind of bumpy on its belly. It goes in behind his hair up here somewhere. Like that. And then in under here. And then the tail is like here somewhere. Maybe if that's his weight of his clothing. I think it's the snake's belly, so we'll go that way. There's like a belly line just on the bottom of the snake. And then his like his chest goes off this way, and his shoulder will go off that way. 
I'm going to go to like all details in here and then we'll deal with the snake's head. So we can just see a bit of neck that way. And then his collar. Here. Down like so. Demon Slayer sort of white collar, shadow under his chin, and there's a button here, and then the white striped collar, and there's some more hair, more hair, that way, and then white stripes on the inside of his Jacket, sort of there. And there's like a white stripe in here, and then that pocket. And then there's like a shoulder line, goes all the way that way, and then there's all white stripes vertical and then some that curve over this way so this one wraps around his shoulder boom um, this goes down this way. It's the center line. There. So snake's head and then all the scales on the snake. So it just like carving out this way. Right? So it's like the body carving out there. Coming from around here somewhere. And then the head sort of bumps up, down, jaw. Like just a little sort of round sort of nose thing. What's up the smiley mouth? Some nostrils. There's an eye. And then the red snake eye. And then there's all scales on this. So we'll just do this. Go for it. And the ones on the nose. these little sort of and then on here as well so we'll go across the back first right these sort of lines and then they do this kind of 
this V-like thing that joins them. And they're kind of broken, sort of. So, open eye. Nope, not finished yet. So close, so close to being done. So, all these kind of scales. Just sort of breaking it up. There is a bit of a pattern to it, but I think that'll do. Nearly forgot them. Oh, but I hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you next one. Bye.